Welcome everybody. In this series, we'll look into Wi-Fi on the ESP32. There's quite a lot of aspects to cover there, so that's why I cut it up in a few parts. In part number one, we're going to cover uh, some of the basics, logging in, etc. And then we'll dive into our first real application where the ESP32 is going to grab the time of day from the internet using an NTP clock. But before we get there, let's get to the basics first. As usual, I've posted all the code that we're going to use today on GitHub. So you can just go there and download that briefly. As you can see, there's two programs that are included here. One is called uh, ESP32 Wi-Fi NTP, and the other one's called ESP32 Wi-Fi Show Networks. And we're going to start with the Show Networks one. So let's open that one up. This is a, a very simple example of a code that scans all the available uh, Wi-Fi networks that the ESP32 can see, uh, and then tries to log in uh, to one of these networks. Uh, the code actually is made by Tech Tutorials SX. I included the uh, link above uh, and uh, made only minor changes. First of all, you've got to make sure that you've configured the ESP32 as the processor. Otherwise, this code won't, code won't compile. Uh, I will be using the ESP32 dev module. But there's different variants and it will work on others as well. Now, um, the good thing about having that ESP32 configured is that you can use a so-called Wi-Fi module. So I just include here Wi-Fi.h. Then we'll need to define our um, SSID, so the name of the network we want to log into, and the password. So you can update this particular text to the SSID and this particular text to the password of the Wi-Fi you want to log into. The actual code is down below. There's some small functions here, but we'll get back to that as we go through the main code. So let's just skip to the main code. So you can see that here in the bottom, the main code is rather straightforward. Uh, there's a serial begin command so that you can write to the console. Um, then there's a uh, function scan network. So that will first then scan all the available networks that it can see. And then it tries to connect to a network. And finally, when it's connected, it then prints the MAC address and the local IP address. So let's go to the two functions. The first one is scan networks. Uh, scan networks is here. And uh, basically, it just looks at how many networks are available with Wi-Fi.scan networks and, and reports that on the console. And uh, it goes the iterates then through all the networks available and prints the network name uh, that is under Wi-Fi.ssid and the signal strength and then the MAC address. And finally, it also wants to show you the encryption type. Well, in order to be able to show the encryption type, it's kind of nice to convert that to a, a, a string that's easy readable. And so for that, there's another helper function. And that helper function here is translate encryption type. Uh, so that is the function here above where uh, we just give it the encryption type as a parameter. And it then switches on that and returns a string with the appropriate encryption type. And that's all there's to it, really. Uh, so let me just run this and show you the result. So let me briefly run the code. You can see now it found two networks um, and uh, here are all the details of those networks and established a connection to the network defined. And it defines also now the MAC address of the, unit, of the ESP32 and it gives you as well the IP address, uh, the local IP address of the ESP32 as it's connected. So, woohoo, we've been able to connect to a Wi-Fi network, but that wasn't very useful, was it? So, let's get to our first real application and read the time of day using an NTP server. So, basically, we open now the Wi-Fi NTP code, and there it is. Now, before we start, I'd like to mention that um, the, so this code was originally um, posted by lastminuteengineers.com, uh, 
but it was posted for the ESP8266, uh, and that's a slightly different variant from the ESP32. So I adjusted it here for ESP32 and I share it with you here. This code is very similar in the way how we connect to the Wi-Fi network but we do need one or two additional things. The first thing that this code, code needs is a library to be installed to be able to read out an NTP client. And um, this, can, this is this NTP client.h, and we can now very simply download that by going to sketch, include library, manage libraries, and if you search here in the section above on NTP client, then you'll find one from Fabrice Weinberg, and that's the one you need. So just go install and it'll install automatically. You're good to go. So it loads uh, this NTP client library. It also loads the Wi-Fi library and a UDP, a Wi-Fi UDP library, because we're going to use UDP for the communication to the NTP server. So let's go through the code. The UTC offset, we'll get back to that later on. Um, of course, there's the section where the SSID and the password is defined. Then there's a simple conversion for the days of the week. Uh, so it's a simple table where zero corresponds to Sunday, one corresponds to Monday, etc. And then there's the code itself. Um, it's uh, quite straightforward. We define an NTP client to be able to get the time. So that's done by first setting up UDP and then calling the NTP client. Um, we call it a time client. And we refer now to pool.ntp.org. Uh, this is a public available NTP server that you can use to retrieve time of day. And I'm located in Europe, mainland Europe, um, so that is one hour offset of the uh, Greenwich time. And thus I added here parameter UTC offset in seconds. Um, and you can see here in the top that is equal to 3600, which is of course equal to an hour. Okay, so here's the setup. So first we initialize the serial communication channel and then uh, we start the Wi-Fi. So the Wi-Fi started exactly the same way as we saw before, but it's not put in a separate routine. So here straight away, it's Wi-Fi.begin with the SSID and the password. And there's a simple while statement to wait, are we connected yet? And only when we're connected, the ESP32 will continue. And it will show you dots while it is waiting every half a second. So when it's connected, um, the time client can be started and the actual loop here is rather straightforward. Um, the time client is updated. We print the current time. We wait a second and then update the client again. So every second you get an update of the time. Let's see now how this works. So, and here's the result. And as expected, the ESP32 writes every second the actual time of day to the console. And with that, we have our first somewhat useful function. Now, join me as well for part number two, where we're going to use the ESP32 to set up a small web server. And that way you can now log into your ESP32 over Wi-Fi and control any of its pins or have it send information to you, um, etc. And then we'll expand this further and have ESP32s even talk to other ESP32s. So thank you very much for watching. As usual, likes are well appreciated. Leave comments down below and see you in part two.